Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to Tungstore Farm. All right, we're gonna have going on today. As you notice, I have a $326,000 again. Uh, so I sold all of the barley that we had collected. Uh, as you can see, we have no barley left basically. So we have no, none of it. Uh, but I did pick up the trail like I said I was going to. Uh, so here's the Krampi, uh, I don't know what this one's called. It's not the Krampi Bandit, the Bandit is a small one or cramp or crampy, whatever you call it. Anyways, so we're gonna do a couple of things and let's get started on the very first thing. So I've been talking to the dealer, uh, the member, the dealer over here at the farm dealer and he's gonna give me a good deal on a Rasselmash uh, as opposed to the New Holland or is a Krone, a Krona. But uh, this guy right here is a pretty good deal. So we're gonna go ahead and get one of those. And, whoops, we're also going to get, da, 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 da. let's get the corn header. We should have enough money for that. And let's get this one right here, the pickup header. Perfect. And we don't need that one, no. All right, so luckily for us, we now we have a little bit of, we have still a little bit left of cash, surprisingly, actually. So what we're gonna do is we have a couple fields that are just laying about now. And let's close, close. I uh, have a couple of fields laying about now. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. There we go. And uh, that wasn't as down as I wanted, as far as I thought it was gonna be. Anyways, so what we're gonna do is gonna, we have a few fields just sitting there, ready to be, not harvested, but ready to be put into the forage harvester. So if you recall, I mentioned that I would wanted to uh, get a little bit of the, uh, the BGA fired up and what we're gonna do right now is get prepared for that and uh, what I mean by that is we have to make sure we have a little bit of material for the BGA uh, so because we have the BGA extension um, and we have the far silo mod as well anyways uh, because of the BGA extension what that means is we can put solids in there so like potatoes and sugar beets and stuff like that so that's gonna be good for us um, so we are going to go ahead and do that but we need to get our bunkers set up so here off to the left is our BGA so many trees and laneways here here is our laneway right here for the BGA or here's the BGA in general now apparently there's actually a another placeable around here somewhere that I have not seen yet where? Maybe it's off in the corner. I think it's over in the corner there, yeah. I was looking through the information and they said there's a they said there's another area for uh, placeables and I think it's where is it? I thought it was over here. Maybe he removed it. But I don't think he did. Oh, no, there it is. So you can get these placeable windmills right here which are expensive and we can't afford yet. Uh, but they build five windmills. So anyways, we don't have the money for it yet, but here's the BGA. So we, as you can see, we don't have anything ready for the BGA yet. That's what we're gonna go ahead and do today with our new Rosselmash, or however you say it, or Rostelmash. Let's go ahead and open this gate up too, make our lives a bit easier. All right, let's bring this guy over here onto the field. And we can just drive straight on here so we have because we have the two headers we can do either this this straw over here we can put into chaff or we can um, use the other tractor the other thing to put it into corn chaff there we go that's what I was going for anyways I haven't used this very much oh it is very quiet um, we're gonna start off with the chaff this one right here um, Farmer Beavis was saying that this one right here is very quiet in comparison to some other things, so that's the reason why I was encouraged to use this. Uh, I don't know if they use this type of equipment or if this is a common piece of equipment in Germany or not. I'm guessing it's not, but maybe it is. I don't know. Anyways, it was pretty quick too, actually. Let's go ahead and get this to that field. And we'll go from there. Uh, so we're gonna get started on this. 
uh, because we want to hopefully hopefully have enough chaff there for when we actually uh, are going to fire up the BGA and of course we need money to fire up the BGA as well so we will need to get that somehow as well. Technically we have a bunker filled with uh, silage but we're going to use that for our animals but at least now we can fill up the bunkers around the area relatively easily or easier than we could before so there we go nice and now we have, of course we have the semi truck is going to make our lives so much easier um, in the sense that we don't have to we don't have to truck nearly as much well we still will but it'll be different because it'll be with a bigger vehicle as opposed to a small vehicle so uh, yeah we're going the right way almost like oh shoot we need, we're trying to go to the other place but we're not so we're good Alright, so let me meet you in the field. Alright, so we're in the field, and I just realized I can actually hook up this trailer right here to this Russell Mash. I totally forgot you could do that with this trailer. So we'll do that first, and then we'll bring the truck around and set the truck up. So let's go ahead and unfold the pipe here. Always helpful to unfold the pipe. And then we will... Interesting. I, I guess we haven't unfolded it yet. I'm assuming that's the problem, yeah. It's weird. There it goes. So, we're going to go ahead and fill up this trailer here, and then we can actually unload it ourselves, strangely enough. And uh, this actually is pretty quiet. Uh, this is what Farmer Beavis was talking about. He was talking about how quiet this particular Russell Mash is uh, in comparison to some of the clone ones, so I totally can relate to that now. I didn't think it was that much of a big deal, but it, it totally is now. Because one of the problems you run into sometimes is that um, with some of the, with some equipment, some of it's really, really loud, and some of it's not like set up properly, but not in the sense that it's not like, it's not as quiet as it should be, but this is actually pretty nice in here. Mirrors work, which is good. Mirrors actually look in the right direction too, which is also good. So I'm just picking up some of the pieces right now, and then we'll turn on to that uh, pass right there where we actually have something we, we can actually chaff. But we're getting a little tiny bits, and we're still getting enough to uh, fill up the trailer slowly but surely. But once we get on an actual swath or wind row, whatever you want to call it, we'll be able to make a big dent in this trailer, that's for sure. All right, here we go. Let's make this turn here. And now we should see that trailer filling up really quickly. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Get out of there. Whoops. From the outside it's pretty loud, but on the inside it's pretty quiet, so. Of course this is from the Gold DLC, for those people who aren't sure where it came from. Uh, or the Gold Edition of Farm Sim, so that's where you can get it, right there. That actually works out fairly well, I totally forgot you could do that. I don't do it very often, I think that's why I totally forgot, but definitely makes it uh, a bit easier without having to worry about too many vehicles, I suppose. Turn that down just a wee bit, there we go. Definitely makes that, that easy, that's for sure. And we're just going to hop onto this pass right here. Apparently when I collected some of the straw, I didn't do a very good job of, uh, of getting the whole windrow or the whole, what do you want to call it, the whole swath. I don't need to parts of it, so. What we can do is we can set up our, we can also set up our uh, other truck there as a, uh, something we can offload into as well. That's possibility as well. Luckily though, this trailer takes quite a large uh, amount of uh, chaff. It takes, I think it's a 55,000 liters of memory serves. So it's one of the larger trailers, and this is, this is just the in-game trailer. Oh, actually, no, this one's not. This one's not the in-game one, uh, but it's based off, of, I think it's, they just added a few extra fruit types, basically. So you can put, I think, manure in here and a couple other random things, so. Otherwise, it's the same as the in-game one, so. It's nice to have the capability of using more than one particular, one particular thing. Let's just double check, I think. If we look... Uh, yeah, so it takes forage as well, uh, grass, straw, chaff, silage, and wood chips. And I don't think the in-game one takes all of that, so. 
Trailer's almost full here. This is crazy. Doesn't take very long. You can fill these things up really quickly. But I think because we're chaffing straw, it's not as uh, not as effective. All right, can turn the front off there, and we can detach that trailer. There we go. I think the truck can actually. Uh, I think the truck can actually hook up to stuff too, on the back of it. I think being the keyword of here, of course. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll leave that trailer there for the time being, and I'll set up course play for this guy to unload. Um, because I can only do one thing at a time, basically. And uh, with because we're chopping straw, if it was corn, you could hire somebody. Uh, but because it's straw, you cannot. That makes it slightly more difficult. So I'll be back in a sec once I've set that up. All right, so I got the truck set up and uh, unloaded the trailer there. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, continue on our way here. And what will happen is eventually, uh, once our trailer is full, uh, we'll start filling up the trail or the truck, I should say. So that'll be good for us because then we'll have, uh, in the end, it's actually <laughs> this trailer only holds thirty-eight thousand liters. It's actually not uh, fifty thousand liters like I thought it was originally. So I don't know why I thought it was that much, but I think there's another one that looks very similar to it that actually has fifty thousand liters, and that was the reason why I thought that. I don't know, whatever. Uh, the other thing we need to do is we need to bring our Deutz file around here so we can actually compact that uh, little section there and uh, the little the one bunker we're working on at the moment and uh, we'll be able to continue with that. Now because we do have the VGA extension here we'll be able to put other things like um, canola, wheat, barley, manure, uh, all those types of things into the BGA extension or into the BGA. Uh, and what that does is it adds solids to it which it makes it run a bit more efficient. If memory serves, I think the optimal number is I think uh, ten or eleven percent solids. If memory serves, I haven't. I feel like it's been a long time since I messed around with the BGA extension. I think the last time we used it was when was it? I don't even remember now. Yeah, I don't remember at all. Wish this worked. I think the the, the little meters there work a little bit, but not a lot. All right, we're gonna make this turn here. There we go. Uh, so we'll have to get the bring the Deutz file around uh, soon, and then once we do that, uh, we'll be able to compact that stuff. But yeah, I think the BJ extension is nice though. Add some pretty neat little functionality to the game, uh, which we weren't able to get bo get before. So. Uh, interesting. I have the cruise control set in a different manner. Oh, what's that? There's a new mode on cruise control? What is that? What does that do? I don't know what that actually does. Maybe it's like a universal cruise control? I wonder if that's the case, actually. Let's set it to something like, you know, like 20 for example. I'm just curious. And let's go to some other random... Hmm, I wonder what that does. It's a new cruise control function. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to ask uh, Farmer Beavis about that because he speaks German and I don't, so... I wonder what that one is supposed to be. Hmm. Anyways. So what I'll do is uh, I'll grab the Deutz file and bring it around and we'll compact that uh, next little part there. And then what we'll do is we'll be able to unload this little section into it. Uh, let's take this turn here. There we go. All right, perfect. I'll be back in a moment. All right, so I got the Deutzfahrer currently working on the other, uh, currently compacting that little section over there. Um, and now we're just continuing on with our way here, as you can see. 
This field will probably get done relatively quickly, I imagine. Uh, well, as fast as it can be done in this particular context because we have the truck here. And the truck holds, I think it's 59,000 liters of uh, chaff, which is pretty awesome actually. So it should make this uh, fairly easy to do. Now I know it's not normal to have a truck in the field like this doing chaff, but uh, people have told me before this is a, you could, you, it, it's possible to do. So here we are, that's the reason why we're doing it, or partially at least the reason. So, ah uh, well. So we're actually getting quite a bit of chaff, actually, more than I, uh, well, a little bit more than we thought. Not by a crazy amount, but it should at least fill up one bunker um, with chaff, at the very least, because uh, we'll be able to use that for money. One can only hope, at least. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the driver right here. I'm going to make a turn. And I'm going to do this turn right here. And then the driver should move around. One of the joys of uh, me driving versus the uh, versus course play, of course, is that uh, I can just continue on if I want to and waste a little bit. At least it'll mean the uh, truck will turn around. There it goes. It's finally deciding to turn around here. It's going to say it's in traffic still, isn't it? There we go. But that is one of the nicer things about having that capability, you know, just continually driving yourself as opposed to having uh, other people do it. I suppose what I could do actually is I could grab the, I could grab the cloth and bring that over here as well, instead of me uh, having to uh, unload this manually. Well, I could do that actually. Trucks at fifty-six percent, thanks to course play or course play drive control mod, of course. I love how it shows that feature. So this is a little number down here, it says 64%, 61%, and that just shows you how full the trailer is itself. So you can continue going until you see it's empty, and then, or see it's full, sorry, not empty, and then you can go from there basically, so it's kind of cool. Oh, I think it's pretty neat at least, so. Anyways, what I'll do is I'll finish this up off camera so you don't have to see me doing this for the next, you know, however long it's going to take, I'm not sure. And we'll come back next episode and we'll have at least this field done, and we will go from there. All right, folks, that's it for me today. We got a brand new forge harvester, a Russell Mash, which is pretty cool. I like it. It's very quiet on the inside, which I really like. So <laughs> anyways, folks, that'll be it for me for today. My name is Ian Robson. This has been another episode of Farming Simulator 2015 coming at you from Tongue Store Farm. If you enjoyed yourself, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys later.